Hi, I'm Heidi Borchers. I think it's really cool to craft with craft foam. Craft foam comes in so many wonderful colors. It is so versatile. You can paint on it, you can heat it up, you can shape it, and you can also use it for texture, and that's what I'm going to use it for today. I'm actually created this frame, and with the different shapes, you can have all kinds of textures. Use some of your um, cool little uh, letters, and I'm also using the Aline's Fun Craft Foam Glue. Now this is a non-toxic glue. It's specially formulated for the craft foam. It is super strong and it's safe for kids because it's non-toxic. Now I found these cool cardboard frames and I thought it would be, this would make a great uh, group project because there's 12 in a package. First thing you want to do is you want to uh, put lines on it because we're going to put lines of the uh, craft foam on it and it's a little easier when you're gluing to have some lines to kind of follow by. I always make my patterns out of the um, cereal boxes because that way then I can use them again and again and you just put it down onto the craft foam and just outline it with a pencil. On this project we're going to paint over it so it doesn't matter if there's pencil marks on it. Just go around it. like so. You can cut the craft foam just with scissors. It cuts just like butter. There are also a lot of different shapes that you can buy already pre-cut and you can also use some of those. So we're going to use some of our um, the Aline's Fun Craft Foam Glue. I just put a little bit out on my surface where I'm working and I just um, use it with a toothpick. That way it's a little easier, especially for kids, instead of squeezing it out of the bottles. Kids tend to just want to really squeeze a lot of glue out and you don't need very much on the back of these. Now for the lines, I actually used my paper cutter and just cut all kinds of different um, uh, pieces. And again, you're just going to glue them into place. When you come across, when you come up to one of the um, notes, you're just going to cut it and fit it right in there. Now from here, what you do when you have it all glued down, you completely paint it black. And I like to dry brush all my colors, so all these light colors on here are just simply dry brushing. So when you put your paint on, rub some of it off and then go over your whole surface. So the texture that you, the lifted texture of the craft phone is actually perfect with catching the paint. The Aline's Fun Craft Foam Glue is available at Michael's. It's terrifically tacky and creatively cool.